Good morning, students. I am here with... Layton Foster. Layton Foster, and you're with what company? Skinner Technology Group. Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, an up and coming, actually it's not up and coming, it's here, it's past here, uh, career, and that is cyber security. So uh, for all you ninth graders out there who don't know what cyber security is, that is the field or the career that helps protect all of our online everything, banking, security, what have you. So tell us about cybersecurity because this is a field that 30 years ago probably barely existed. Yeah, no, it definitely is a newer field and phenomenon, but um, every single business today has cybersecurity risk, and that's what makes it so important to learn about. It can be really daunting, especially if you don't come from a technology background, but it is so important, it's important to learn because cybersecurity risk is really business risk. So, you know, it's everything about your money, your communications, your intellectual property, all of that has to be protected. Yep, and cybersecurity is actually costing you money whether you realize it or not because all of these businesses are having to charge us as consumers more to help beef up their cybersecurity. Now, when I think of cybersecurity, obviously the first thing I think of is like online banking, but I know it probably goes way deeper than that. Tell us mm -hmm. the, the multitude of fields that cybersecurity covers today. Okay, so there are so many cybersecurity niches. Um, so you've got risk analysts who you know, may work more on the control side of things. So how you're setting up your systems, who can access what, things like that. You've got your help desk technicians who are really that first line of support. You have your network administrators, you have penetration testers, um, even secure development um, positions. Um, so all of your applications that are developed you know, developing them in a secure manner is also its own thing. Um, so it's really um, huge. And even outside of cybersecurity specific jobs, um, the number of people who work in tech companies and cybersecurity companies is just growing and growing. It's amazing. And one that just caught my ear is you said uh, people who are working on penetrating systems. So y'all actually have people who their job is to try to hack systems to see what the vulnerabilities are. Yeah, that's super important and definitely like the, the cooler side of the industry, <laughs> um, 100%. Um, I've definitely worked with people who have gone on to intern and work at the NSA and places like that. So, you know, it's a private issue, but it's also a public issue. Sure. And um, gosh, there's so many things that, I mean, there's so many ways we're vulnerable today. Uh, ransomware is like a super scary topic mm -hmm. as well. What are some of the things that are being done security-wise to try to combat that? Yeah, so with ransomware, really one of the, the things that it always comes back to is your end users. So that is one of the number one things that people can do is talk about and teach how to spot phishing, how to make sure you're going to a safe website, and what to do if you do make a mistake. You know, because that early detection and immediate isolation can make all the difference. Right. So stop clicking those emails that you don't know where they're coming from <laughs> that say, hey, we found a picture of you on the, on the website. It's not, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's bad, bad news. Students who might be interested in going into this type of field, I wouldn't even know where to start to tell a student if they were interested in cybersecurity because that's not like you don't hear of a college or whatever saying, hey, we have a cybersecurity school. So tell us the roadmap if you're wanting to go into this field. So there are like so many different ways. It's also one of the fields where, you know, technology is one of the fields where you don't necessarily have to have a college degree. There are technology and cybersecurity boot camps that can really get you prepared quickly for that entry level position that you can start making money, be an adult, um, and continue education as you go. But within the state of Mississippi, um, MSU has a really top notch program. I think it's still just underneath the computer science major, but that is one I would definitely encourage people to check out. Another thing is that the University of Memphis and Southwest Community College received a grant to beef up their cybersecurity programs. So that's another avenue to look into. 
Okay. Uh, what would you tell students who might be interested in going into this field? Um, you more than likely know somebody who works in technology. And if you do, you should definitely try to shadow, um, get involved, ask questions. And outside of that, there are so many programs that you can participate in at the high school level. Um, different kinds of, they call them like capture the flag yep. <laughs> events and things like I've that. Heard of it. Yep. Yeah. So that is something that's really cool. It's still kind of a game, but it's a competition. You can win money, you can win prizes, but it's also a really good way to get your foot in the door. Okay. Tell us about the money because a lot of students are always wondering about that. What kind of money is tied up in this? And <laughs> from what I understand, I mean, it's all over the map. Obviously, your entry levels are going to be lower, but you can make some serious money in this field. Yes. Yeah, so the technology median income in the U.S. is 125% times higher than the average median wage in the country. <laughs> So students, you'll make way more than Mr. Lewis sitting here is making, is what she's saying. Way, <laughs> way, 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 way more. All right, so uh, students who might be interested in working for you guys, tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about your company. Yes, yeah, so at Skinner Technology Group, we provide IT managed services as well as cybersecurity consulting. And really, for high schoolers, the best way is to help out on a help desk. That's actually what my boss did when he got started was he worked help desk. You get exposed to so many issues. You get to learn so many things and some real insights into the field. Okay. And that's a position that a high school student could mm -hmm. potentially apply for and yep. get. Mm -hmm. No, I would just encourage you, even if you don't think that you're a techni technology person i did not go to school for technology i kind of came into this from an alternative path but tell them what your path was <laughs> so i actually studied international studies governance and politics and spanish and was it really did you think you were going to go into cybersecurity when you were doing that <laughs> i didn't know what cybersecurity was <laughs> i had no clue um but it's been a wonderful career for me and even though i'm not a highly technical person it is super rewarding tech companies have some of the best benefits out there some of the best paying jobs and um i don't know if i'll ever not work in tech yeah well i mean they need a lot of people i mean that's yeah. just the truth of it uh this entire world is dependent we all know it because when the internet goes down even for a day in the school system it's it's hard like mm -hmm. to do anything so mm -hmm. anyway all right well if you would like to get in touch with her um, mm -hmm. for uh, potential more information about their company uh, you can see miss Hennessy she'll have that information if you're interested in tech uh, or technology as a as a potential field for you as a career you can obviously visit the counseling complex and talk with miss Hennessy our career coach thank you so much for coming and talking today thanks for having me uh -huh.